So today is going to be a fun, short video. Had a high point, 9mm out the other day, planking. And I was like, let's just do a quick comparison between some different hollow points. And let's just see, and can check their velocity. And then we'll check, try some targets. And every time I leave something at the shooting range, man, someone draws a dick on everything. If I ever catch the guy, I'm going to shake his hand. So we'll just get set up. We gotta put a couple two by fours up, some water jugs, some pumpkin, and we'll just see what different hull points. Real quick, this is one I carry every day. This is a Winchester Ranger. Uh, they are 124 grain plus P. Uh, these are very good ammo. These are ones I was shooting the other day. The OPS, they're 85 grain. They're like 1450 out of there. These are 147 grain uh, full metal jacket flat point <laughs> got some uh, shot shells and we got some green tracers by denver bullet here which i don't know we'll see and then we got some seismic rounds too these are 185 grain nine millimeter nato so let's see and you know, sometimes these natos don't fit in certain pistols i know they won't really fit my smith and wesson so hopefully fit in a high point we'll try them Okay, first up, we got the CCI bird shot, rat shot, whatever you're using it for. This would be shooting in the face range, dick shot, I guess. So, CCI bird shot. She peppered up pretty good. Ooh. All right, so you can see at that range, it's actually like the rubber thing that holds it together. Pretty good spread on that. I'd like to see what happens when the muzzle is touching it, though. Dude, not gonna lie, <laughs> I, got, I got hit with so much like BBs and pumpkin. I am covered in pumpkin. <laughs> Ooh, look at that hell. I mean, I had the barrel firmly pressed up against there. You come out the back? Oh, it did. Wow, a couple did. That's kind of crazy. It's still smoking. <laughs> I hit with so much shit. Yeah, right, let's try some other ones. Okay, I had to clean a lot of pumpkin out of my gun. It's actually down the barrel. So next up is the Winchester Bonded Ranger. Uh, the Plus P, 124 grain. Jacketed hollow point. I got a chronograph, a 2x4, a water jug, and then the pumpkin. So that was 1382 feet per second. Okay, I was a little worried about my chronograph because in previous videos we had multiple accidents with it. 460 Magnum! And the day's still young. So, it went through the 2x4, blew out there, annihilated the water jug. Here it is. I think, yeah, I think this was it. Annihilated the water jug, went through the pumpkin. Yeah, went in there. Expanded a good bit. Came flying out there and nicked off there and went. So, so far, that's probably the best round. Let's try a couple other. Okay, next up, we got the OPS round. This is 85 grain, jacketed hollow point. Focus. Okay, anyway, same situation we got going on there. Yeah, let's see. That was 1422 feet per second. And yeah, that was a very damn good shot, if I don't say so myself. It's like perfectly, man. Okay, yeah, went through the 2x4, through Mr. Captain. Pumpkin, straight out the back. So, working good so far. Let's try the next one. Okay, next up we got a Seismic. This is 185 grain, I do believe. 185 grain. Got a nice, like, machined aluminum base. Uh, stainless steel, maybe casing and like these hollow points are nasty i could put two two by fours up there if you buy these they shoot low that's how i lost a chronograph in the past was doing this exact same thing so i'm gonna aim high and if i miss i'm okay with that i do not want to shoot my chronograph again not yet oh man that was close 926 feet per second and eh, I think they hit pretty good right where I was aiming. Shooting out a rifle, they might work better. 
So let's go check it out. Actually looks pretty good. So 926 feet a second. Uh, subsonic so there you go if you wanted one with a suppressor it still has a lot of hitting power because that went through it hit like right where i was aiming thank god maybe a little to the right but went through one probably went through that one because it obviously took out the water jug and it hit here came out the back there's the water jug yeah <clears throat> part two by four still in it yeah hit high right where i was aiming so like I said, they might work better in a rifle. So them things, I mean, they do penetrate. They're they're a pretty good bullet. So let's just try a couple other things. Oh, there we go. Okay, so next up we got a green tracer. Look how cool that thing looks. I shot these at night. They're pretty cool. Nine millimeter tracer. I forget how many grain they are. So, so that being said, I put three two by fours up there. And then the same situation. So let's see if it goes through all three and hits the pumpkin probably won't see a trace but maybe oh, wow seen a, tra seen a tracer go flying off in the woods <laughs> i was gonna shoot one off in the woods but i was like i oh, mean these leaves are dry but uh oh we got air too oh, dang it let me try another one okay went through all three and it uh good water jug and the pumpkin i think i got four or five two by fours up there now See if we can get a reading on the chronograph here. There we go. Oh, wood smoking. That's pretty cool. 1076. Let's go check that out. It's a perfect shot if I don't say so myself. Yeah, she was smoking. That's pretty cool. One, two, three. I don't think I went through all of them. Definitely didn't go through all of them. It's in there somewhere, smoldering away. Hmm. Yeah, see, so you know, I said that right there it was. And the second one. So, uh, yeah, they don't really, didn't really penetrate that good. It's kind of, oof. Hmm, I'll have to dig that one out. Yeah, well, one more to try. Okay, so now this is a 147 grain full metal jacket, flat nose. Yeah, I think I, man, two or three two by fours, a water jug, and a pumpkin. So let's see if it goes through all of them. And no reading. Kind of pulled that to the right. I didn't see. Let me re let me retry that. So yeah, I actually did get it. Well, you can see the water dripping there. So this is a hair to the right. I'm going to retry it. Oh, my bad. There we go. Error. We'll try another one. I want to get a chronograph reading on this, damn it. Yeah, let's try again for another reading here. 11, or, yeah, 1,112 feet per second. I feel like Joe Biden there trying to read numbers. Insert Joe Biden clip. For example, there's a situation where there's an estimation of somewhere between 700 billion and a trillion, 300 million billion dollars. If okay, there was this quick, sh short, little fun video, just shooting some different kind of nine millimeters. So you can see what works. Uh, what do you think worked the best? Let me know. And what do you recommend trying? Like I said, I like these. They seem to penetrate pretty good. Ah, the tracers are pretty cool, but that's about it. I mean, this is what I carry for my everyday carry because they're just plus P. You get some good velocity. And see, what, what was it, like 1,300 feet a second? Something like that? Pretty good for 9 millimeter. They expand good. They function. Got a little bit extra weight and a little bit extra oomph to them. So, yeah, let me know what you want me to shoot next other than myself because that is not time yet. Maybe someday. Not today. <laughs> or in the near future, anyway. Who knows? The way the world's going. Oh, man.